Have you ever wondered what the safety culture is in your company? Do you think it's possible to get everyone involved in creating a safer work environment? Hey there, it's Pete for Circle Safety and Health Consultants. This is a true story about a company that wondered the same thing. Bernard's story starts with his employer. They are a medium-sized manufacturer in the UK that had implemented a very good safety program. However, their efforts to reduce the number of incidents had plateaued. Perhaps you can relate. They were referred to a consulting company that could measure their safety culture through the use of a simple, inexpensive survey. When the results came back, it was apparent that most employees saw safety as something that management lectured about, but they didn't really feel it was their responsibility. The same consultants had for 20 years offered a short three-hour program that helped employees to reflect on their attitude toward unsafe behavior both at work and on their own time. The program had a history of getting people at all levels of a company to realize possible consequences of their actions or lack of action both in the workplace as well as outside of it. The consequences not only to themselves but to co-workers, spouses, and extended family as well. How could such a short program have that kind of impact? The consulting company didn't promise miracles. They only said the program had proven to be an excellent start to a process for implementing a successful safety culture in a company. Needless to say, management was skeptical, so the consultants offered a pilot training program. They said, pick 10 to 15 employees from different levels of the company and see what they say. Thinking about the offer, the safety team thought, what do we have to lose? A little bit of money and 10 employees experiencing the program. The worst that can happen is that 10 people in our plant might work and live a little safer. This is where Bernard comes in. You see, Bernard had been with the company for 32 years. He belonged to the union and was one of those employees that often pushed back when the company introduced new programs. He was a valuable employee, but not the easiest person to work with. The safety team immediately picked him as one of the employees to participate in the pilot program. When the day of the training came, Bernard was the last person to arrive and sat in the back of the room with his arms crossed and a scowl on his face. Gradually over the three hours, he began to participate. At the end of the class, every attendee was asked to give their feedback. When it came to Bernard, he simply said, this is the best bleepin' training we've ever done at this bleepin' place. I can see I need to change the way I've been doing things. Every head turned, and shortly someone asked, why? Well, this has let me understand that I'm responsible for my own safety, as well as that of my co-workers. I can see how I can make a difference. Besides, I want to be around for my grandkids. The almost universal response was, you have grandchildren? No one knew. As a result of the pilot program, the company adopted the training and put all their employees through it. The consultants had said this was the first step. The next question was how do you maintain and grow the changing culture? Among other steps, champions are a vital component to ensure the continued success. Rather than appointing champions, the consultants seek volunteers. Much to everyone's surprise, Bernard volunteered and championed the program within the company. As a result of the champions and other changes, the program was a great success. The numbers of near-miss reporting and the level of authentic safety conversations increased as the number of accidents dropped significantly and the culture actually changed and has maintained to this day. In essence, this was great leadership by the company to take every employee, including their senior management, through the program. They're people too and probably take risks they shouldn't. They realized later that once their people felt significant, connected, and that they could make a contribution, then the culture changed. If you'd like information on how to evaluate your safety culture, contact me. Thanks for listening.